Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are once again doing some contract work. So what we've gone and done is if we go over here, we are completing these contracts, so 24 and 130. That's these bells here. Needs to go into this cell point here. And then these last three need to go to what well, that's six. Need to go to the town store, so we'll do that. Unstrap them. There we go. And how much we'll get from that? Ooh, not too bad. 16 grand in bells. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I'm trying to quit though, because there are anything. Farmer's market bells. Actually, we really should have kept some of these bells. Actually, that's what I was planning on doing, anyways. Well, completely forgot about that, so. Oops, my bad. Well, we'll do some more 10 contracts. We'll do 106 and 131. So, yeah, next time we'll make sure we don't sell those because we don't really need the money at the moment. I've driven three grand now, so you know what? It's a little bit of a bonus. So, I'm thinking this next one will take at least two bells, maybe three. So, if we put that there for now, shove that forward. There we go. Strap it down. And then strap these on if we can. We'll keep these bells. Because that's what if you need is hay. Hay to make TMR. Also, we still have some TMR bells at the moment. But yeah, just not as much I think we need. But then again, I can be completely wrong on that. So, the worker to go to there. Yes, please. And now we will resume where we end off in that episode off doing the harvesting. So it's time to start doing the final harvest. So we got again, just to recap. We're doing this field here. That was our very first field we done on this series. It was a grass field. Now it's field beans. Next, I think we'll take the combine up. I'll do 45. And then to round off, we'll come back to the farm and do this one here. Or actually, no, we'll do this one, go to the farm and do that. And then we'll head up and do 45. So, currently, we've got 6,000 litres of fill beans. Of course, they're going to be the most yielding in that. Which is expected because obviously, you're going to get about 4 grand. Is it four grand or so per thousand litres? Just to remind ourselves. We go down here. Have a little looky loo. Fill beans. Yonder for a thousand litres, so. Not too bad, actually. I'll say probably if I had to guess. If we do this field here. I'll say about 40, 50,000 years of fill beans we'll get from this. I could be wrong on that, but who knows. That's my estimate. Yeah, for some reason, say frame rate is a bit choppy. We should know that. Raise up so it actually looks like we're harvested properly. But yeah, the header this year has been really useful to us. Like, first of all, we spent what 10 grand in lease and fees or something like that for 60 grand header. And what I think we'll do that again for the next year. And that obviously, we're planning on doing a bit of expansion that get a loan in. We need about roughly a million quid for our expansion plans, and a lot of that's going to come from a loan. But then most of that will be paid off within the year. 
Obviously, we become south side, we've got our sidage to sell in the winter. So, we're going to get one final cut off sidage in November. So, we'll do that. Or do we do hay? You know what? Nah, I think. Should we fight for Tia Morphin now for over winter until we get our first cut in the new year, which will be April? Yeah, worst case scenario, we should buy some bells and that. Obviously, primarily the hay bells are for cows. Even though there's no grass grown over the winter and into the new year, that doesn't mean we can't cut any of them. I think any cut in that over the winter now. We still cut them. Just really depends on. Let's do that there. So this water is going a bit faster. Maybe we lost a bit of yieldish there. What was I saying? Ah, oh, I can't remember. Anyways, we'll get this unloaded. And we'll go to you. Because, yes, yeah, so if we can keep some of these bells, then that'd be useful. Or if we just sell a partial of the third bell. But who knows, let's just see what we do here, so... Tipped. Bell cell point is right at the end over here. So let's go and sell these two. And will they suffice for the contract? No, we we'll need at least one more bell. And then maybe a fourth. Eighty eight per cent. If I say, oh, dang it, wasn't quick enough. Well, we've still got two bells for ourselves now. I mean, that's no small feat for two thousand litres. And actually, we can just whack one of those bells for the sheet. And then say we're good with it. So, the contract. Let's go and complete that. So we're doing 106 and 131. 106 is by the farming app, conveniently enough. And 131 is up north. So, do a cotton contract on 42. Where is that? And ah, next to 53 where our farm is, so could do that and borrow the equipment. Sugar beet, corn. So where are these bells going? To the garden center. Got to do 63. One or two. Fair enough. Anyone in particular want to choose by the BGA? 63. Actually, well, I think 63 would be better. Because, yeah, that's size bells. So, you know what? We'll say, yeah, accept that contract. And this side, we'll make sure we keep those bells. So. I say no we need to turn around. Try to think where where's our mower set to? Ah, just a wage payment that was, so They're all up here. Oh, funny enough we're already at 131, so you know what? We'll do 131, 63. Since our lot of the equipment's already over there. And we're borrowing this at the moment, are we? So, yeah, we're borrowing that. We've got to pay to lease and fee on that still. Which is, what, well, yeah, grand per week. So, I'll say go there as well. And actually, I'm thinking we're going to 
half day as well as for this month and then into next month so let's go and I should have a look at the use market a sec I'm tempted by that get another cheap old big tractor 27 hours that's an 8700 which what's more we got Oh, that's an 8S edition. So, some possibilities there. Oh, decent vehicle costs. Okay, that's a header. That, I think we will return. No, we're going to do that. I'm going to do a size contract, so. I'm still got the bigger now, so yeah. And you know what? We'll go to what we were saying. Transfer money. I will pay two grand to the dealership. So that's for today or this week. And then actually, what? Let's send another grand. Then you know what? We got access to that till. The end of the month. That's three grand for three weeks of decent. Of course, we're not going to be constantly using it, it's just having that privilege of access. That's what we're paying for. We're not paying to have it 24 7. We can access it 24 7. We've got a set of keys for it, so. But anyways, we will finish this harvest, go and get it done. It's going to take us a while to do that. I think in fairness that will take us till the end of the day because we're going to lose sunlight within the next two to three hours so we should be done by then but it's going to be a bit of work so yeah as always I'll get us done
And there we go. Oh, her stopped. Maybe it looks like it's because of traffic with the combine. As we're getting that back to the farm. So yeah, we're done with the harvesting for the year. And we got more than I thought. So we got at least two full tray loads. And I think it was a half load as well from the field by the farm. And the combine still got another thousand litres left. So once we get this emptied, we'll quickly put that thousand litres in there. And then we will assess how much we've got. As we're starting to lose the daylight now. Actually, put that back down there whilst I was looking at a few things. Oh, let's overtake the combine. Beep beep. There we go. But yeah, that was a good harvest, and we're definitely going to make more than the 50,000 litres. I think maybe like close to 60 than 50, so even if it was 50,000 litres, we're still looking at over almost 220 grand, do the quick math in my head on that. So let's go see actually how much we've got in total. So head back in as we're starting to lose the light now. And also got a bunch of pallets we need to start moving, so we'll deal with those. Maybe chickens out of the way. So yeah, let's go and have a look. So just pull into here. And also I want to look at these bells like the sizes. So as that's going in. There are six and a half thousand litre bells, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's sixty-five thousand litres of hay. Uh, yeah, just had to readjust it. I think we actually clipped the shed. That's the thing as well. We can put bells in here. Got stuck there. So yeah, that's done. 58,615 litres. That is ooh, a lot. I've still got another 1,000 litres, so just shy of 60,000 litres, so that is over 240, over 260 grand almost. So yeah, that is not a bad haul for us. A quarter of a million pound harvest, that was. But also, we got things like our linseed. That'll be time to sell in December. And we'll get... Yeah, I can't do the math in my head. On that one, but also... Got canola. Well, I've got a straw swell. That's going to be interesting to sell. Currently, 129. But we can go to 147. So, if we get around 150 for a thousand litres. I would like that. Eggs, if we get any eggs, we will sell those, but I'm not sure. Wool, we've got at least one pallet. But at the moment, it is at its worst price possible at the moment. So, I ain't gonna be until April. And then our canola. Just one more month, 1300, so we're almost there with that. And that's gonna be over 220 grand, I think. No, not even close on that. Four, eight, yeah, something like 150 grand. But yeah, so now what we need to do is to fill prep. I need to get the auger out. Oh, looks like I have to unfold the combine to get the auger out. There we go. So yeah, 200 pounds in wages, not an issue. Also, we did send another three grand over because I forgot about the Lamborghini. 
but we've got these that as well from the deer ship. But yeah, we're still we do need to stop using like the D ship's equipment. But that's been what might come in now. So yeah, we should get some decent stuff. Definitely looking at getting at least one new tractor. I am half tempted by the case or the eight seven hundreds. Well, what's that for? Ah, the tether, right, fair enough. That makes sense. So yeah, let's see what the final tally is. And then we'll have a quick check on the animals before we go into next week. So yeah, 59,690 litres. Uh, before we get rested for the night, sheep all good, chickens good with food, cows are still good. We're that's gonna last a while, if in fairness. We've got a lot of food in there. Horses, oh, do need to ride them, so let's quickly do that. Horses. But yeah, also, we do need some lights around the farm, like, when we're working at night. Oops. The horse there. Actually, you know what? Let's put some lights in, so... If we go to decorations, lights... Like, do we want these ones? So if I say put that one, where do we want it? Something like there. Yeah, because we need to... Oh. And how full is everything then? Apparently it's not turned on yet, so bear with me a sec. Oh no, this is the go forward a little bit in time and then that works so fair enough on that go with the automatic ones I think so got one light there I think we need one here there we go just to light up the farming app One there, one there. I think one more here. One down there. Obviously, got to be mindful of the campers and that, so I don't want to disturb them too much. But at least one more here. Maybe I actually have a 180 one, so not. Shining into the campsite. And speaking of which, I'll put one more down here. So, there we go. I think, really, that's it. One more <laughs> there. And that is the farm, pretty much. Whack one here. And you know what? Fuck it. One more there. And one more just over here. So yeah, that was a bit of money spent on lighting. But something that is worth it, especially now as we head into winter, we're going to be working at night. So yeah, I'll get some rest. And I'll see you folks in the morning. And there we are, we've got the bell being done. And yeah, let's sell some of these bells. Obviously not all of them. So I do want to keep some of them, so let's see what we can do here. There we go, 
just pull that back there. Yeah, there we go. That is all after contracts completed. And a little bonus of 1200 quid, so. Let's go and complete these contracts. So now we're back up to 112, wherever we were earlier on in the episode after spending all that money on those lights. And we'll set up some more contracts we can do in between episodes and that. So, Farmer Market Bells for 70, Point Creek Bells for 31. Tannosaur Bells Any other ones? Tannosaur Bells, Tannosaur Bells And there are hay contracts, not size ones, zoos ones Folly Down Bells Folly Down You know what heck it is, do Except that one. Not that one. Just have a little look. And that's all. That one is hay, not sidage. So. Farmer's market. And what heck is except 68 and 69. So there's those three fields down there, and we're left with 170,000 litres of hay for ourselves, so that's going to be enough bells for a while actually, I think. Yeah, when we do the next cut of grass in November, I don't think we need hay. I was tempted to do hay in that, but you know what? That can be side itch. That does mean though we have to empty one of the clamps, and... That's going to be a big job in, in itself. But yeah, we'll do that in November. Yeah, heck yeah, let's do that in November. And for now, we will return that. Don't occur any more fees on that. But yeah, 112 grand. Is there any other fields we can purchase? Maybe a grass field, that's 193. Ooh. Maybe we'll have the money after we do those size contracts. Because if we get that one, then we say that could be our grass field permanently. And then we can convert these fields over because we do need wheat in that. So, wheat, we can plant that. Wheat, barley, or even oats, actually. You don't, don't need anything in particular, just... Actually, not oats, that's for the horses, so... Wheat or barley. And actually, we do need oats, because... We do need feed for the horses. Even though they don't consume too much. What's 51? Speaking of small fields... Maybe 40, 56, that would be a good... Oatfield. Yeah, because I'm thinking if we do oats there, we need to move the bells from that. So, yeah, some work to do. But, yeah, I'm going to have a little think about this as we get back to the farm. And then, yeah, we'll pretty much do a jump cut and then we'll discuss what the plan is. And there we go. So, yeah, let's go and park this over here a sec. Might well apply another grand, because on the way back, find one more collectible. Well, obviously, there's only one grand and not 101, so... And that was one of the cow ones, cow collectibles, and... We need to find one more of those... In order to... Get the full amount of 100 grand. There we go. I think if we sat these over here, 
can do spells over there that can be used as for chickens, not for chickens, for like the horses and sheep. And then these ones can be used as TMR. But yeah, like instantly we have triples almost how much hay we've got. So yeah, three stacks, that would do it. Just move that over there. But yeah, I think the plan would be now is with the fields, because I did have a look. I did think about oats. Fortunately, there is a oat field here at 58, and that's been weeded and everything, and it's 98% yield bonus, so it's a 2% for mulching. So you know what? So that's going to be our oat, oat field. It's going to be enough for the chickens, and that's pure or for the uh, what's it? Horses. Chickens, they don't need too much to feed. But so if we can, we say, do actually, what is that one there? Is that barley? Oh, actually, if we buy 52, that'd be barley. So, barley and oats, that's already done. And then I'm thinking 54. 107, 106, and at least this one here could be fill beans. Then as we move up, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, do we need anything else? I do want pigs and that, so things like corn, soybeans, and sorghum, I think they need. I need to double check on the recipe for that sec. So yeah, I'm thinking. Let's say one be soybeans, let's say this one here. That could be corn. And sorghum. I think I ain't planted until the next year, right? If I'm correct. Yeah, not until April, so... Get one more field for sorghum. And again, I'm looking at 45 and 46. If we do that, yes, that could be our sorghum field. So if we do the math, let's add everything up. So by that, that is 60 grand. I think, you know what? Heck, let's just buy that one now. Since we've got the money. So yeah, buy that one. 200, 310 grand. 405 grand. And this one here. 530 grand. Also, do need any more fields. Try to think. Maybe you can buy some more fields. Cause I'm thinking, you know, heck yes, do something like alfalfa in the new year. We can do that. Also, do rye because rye was actually pretty decent in yielding, and do get a straw as well. So, maybe another field for straw. So, we're looking towards down here, maybe, yeah, maybe that. So, that'd be additional 72, 76. 156 grand and about 330 grand additionally so that's about 800 ish grand eight yeah eight nine hundred grand so I think that makes the most sense for us but again our cars on the loan and forget that million pound loan I think we'll be setting pretty much good for the rest of the series Oops. Last thing, how long is this series gonna go for? I don't know. I know, I know, like Dagwin, that's planning on not doing like ending the series sooner. Just because, yeah, I get it. It's a flood market, like Court Farms and this Let's Play series on YouTube. Do get that. 
but I'm personally still loving the map and there's too much more to explore and do there's things like getting new plant plots of land starting to add some productions not I'm not gonna go overboard with productions I think yeah the recent episode on Numa Sand is sort of slightly traumatizing traumatizing on that off going over top there we go that's those put away because yeah there is some production I know there's the green mill here and then what the bakery down here as well so maybe we get those oh that's the campsite there have a look, how much is it going to be for this, so... 121 grand for the green mill. An additional, I think it was like 50 or something grand. For the bakery. 170, 180 grand. I do love the details on that. I think I don't even know. Is it custom and that? Actually, well, I'm gonna do something a bit cheeky a sec. So I do want to have a look. So get a cheeky five grand loan in. Cause I just want to have a look if it's is it the same as a normal bakery or is it additional stuff? And that's just, yeah, it was bread and cake, so, and that should also remind us we do need sugar, so, a sugar beet filled as well. Alright, okay, we've got that. That wasn't intentional, but that's going to be something we're going to have in the long term, so you know what? Heck yeah, let's buy it now. Can't reset it. Well, we can if we do... I should know we can do that. I thought we could sell it, but nope. Guess not. Makes sense, but... At least flour, so... We need a lot of grain as well, so... Yeah, there's that as well. They may, so we do need to do some work, like... Fertilize these fields and that, so... And these fertilizing. And this needs a, another application of fertilizer, so the case. Done that there for now. And let's go and grab the fertilizer spreader. If I didn't crash into anything, that would help. There we go, got the uh, fertilizer spreader on. Technically, we can fertilize this now. Put a cheap application of fertilizer on now. But we won't because, again, that's not really you would do it. You would do it not in the state like that. So, so I think what you would do normally is obviously mulch. Yeah, you've got to mulch it. Then cultivate it up because we don't have a direct drill on the cedar, so we do need to do that. And the sugar beets, just having a quick look. Planting is in March. March for that, then April is sort of the corn and soybeans. And yeah, we could do winter wheat, barley and that. Bozzy, we've got the barley and oat situation sorted. I think we'll do a wheat field in that. And yeah, again, we'll figure all that out in November. But whilst we're still in October, we've still got a bit of work to do on pretty much everything around here. So yeah, let's get all the fertilizing done. And then that's where I think we'll end it today, I think.
And there we go. So we have been busy. Done the fertilizing and we've done the size bells. So we have a little refresh ourselves. So most of these are going down to well about I should know five ounce bells. So this is this one here, so let's go and put one in. That is 89%, so really they'll need three bells. Not a problem. If we can, we'll try to snatch it away. There we go. Got some money for some of that bell back. Thank you. We'll pull that back down. And I think we can drive over this because I need to consume it. What's this strap down? Nope, that is good. And now all we need to go to the farmer's market, which is just not too far away actually, just along this road, cross the bridge, and then Bob's your uncle, we are there. And just like that, with the power of editing, we are here. So the bell cell point is this one here. Let's see how much money we make from this. There we go. Ooh, significant amount of money. 45 grand for that. So we are at 49 grand. Make that 71. Minus that GK5 run loan we did, hurry on just for the bakery, was there or something? And overall, we're left with 66,660 quid. A lot of sixes in that. I can imagine if that was another six quid, it'd be in Mark of the Beast almost. But. Anywho, I should just drive away from here because here the animal deer ship going off. But yeah, once again, we are losing light, so I think what we'll do is can accept some contracts to do on site. Obviously, no hay contracts because we turned down the wrapper and that, or no, the tether, so fly down. Long Meadow, Town Store. Bells. Uh, I guess in the, all these are. Yep, these are all. The contracts were potentially missing out. We still may take the decision to. Uh, what's it? <laughs> Do those contracts, at least to tether out again, but for now, I'm not too sure. Just out of curiosity, how could can we do the rolling here? Seven ish miles an hour on mulching at the moment. Um, I think it's like the top speed of it is like 10 or 11. Nine. So I actually ain't too far off. And that, of course, being on flat land, this does need a service. And I am a wary of this skin up there in the hours. But for now it's fine, it's not costing us too much. Does that make any difference? I was just a curiosity whilst I had whilst I was over here now I thought whilst we still contracts have a little test but obviously we didn't, didn't have the money to service it because we had to pay the lease and fee for the beater. Yeah, manages it fine at seven, eight miles an hour. Actually, around the fact that's a 300 horsepower requirement, and that is 235 horsepower, so yeah, actually ain't too bad at all. All things being considered, so next time, what we gotta do is a lot of field prep. We're already taking care of the horses. We do need to move some of these out of the way, so we're going to do that. Let's just move everything down over here for now. Like supersonic speed there. 
But yeah, a lot of these will sell in like December or I mean December or January is best. Definitely between November and wait. November and January is the best price for these, so yeah, we'll have a look at that option actually. Have a quick look now. Best price would be actually no, uh, towards February. So yep, yeah, we're gonna have those for a while. Hopefully, you don't hit any pad limits. I doubt we will, but who knows? Anyways, that is where we're gonna end it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not trying to check yet, please consider. But for just do, hope you're gonna see. But for now, it's be far more Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.